Big changes continue across the middle part of the country as an August cool front has left many 10, 15, almost 20 degrees below average temperatures. Yeah, you're experiencing some really nice, pleasant, like almost fall like air across the middle part of the country. You can actually see some of the air temperatures this morning. And in fact, yesterday, portions of North Dakota actually had frost advisories up there with some temperatures below 35 degrees but even this morning we still check it in with some temperatures in the 30s but man look at that really pleasant light cooler conditions dropping all the way further south for much of nebraska through kansas well into oklahoma even portions of oklahoma's checking in at 57 degrees this morning so yes that is a nice welcome change nonetheless what you typically see for august so if we expand the view for on the satellite picture yeah finally debbie is winding down that just left a beating for many areas across the east coast the remnants of debbie is slowly you know kind of fizzling out while much of the tropics is still fairly on the quieter side we are going to be looking at another system that's came off the african coast you can actually see it in the far right hand corner of the screen that is the one that's trying to get its act together and in fact it has an 80 percent probability of forming into our next tropical storm so it's likely going to be forming into ernesto and it continues that west northwest track and it's actually on a similar track that debbie was actually on but you remember with debbie it stayed on the lighter side very weak it actually continued on the weaker side which allowed it that westward trajectory and by the time it actually got into the gulf of mexico that's when it actually strengthened this one strengthening a lot sooner so with that in mind that typically pulls the system further north and i think that's exactly what's going to happen if you follow the trends with this storm but what would likely be ernesto probably by early next week so if you take a look at the overall european latest ensemble guidance this is just over the next seven days continues that west northwestward trajectory through the windward islands all the way through Puerto Rico. It's likely to be named a storm sometime near Puerto Rico, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. And then all indications are it's gonna continue that west, north, if not almost further northerly track and actually take it out into the open waters of the Atlantic. And the GFS ensembles is kind of implying that. So if it continues to strengthen, it will in fact continue that west northwest and eventually that north northward track if it stays on the weaker side it has a higher probability of continuing further west and bring it closer to the united states so it's still a ways off we'll still be watching this storm but that you know looks to be what's going to be unfolding with what likely could be ernesto so let's take a look at the middle part of the country we do have northwest flow folks yes with that ridging backing off to the west allowed that cooler air to sink further south yes that typically sets up northwest flow events east of the rocky mountains and that's exactly what we're seeing with that cooler northerly air and that push of air will bring some showers and thunderstorms some heavier rain events and especially for those areas into likely into oklahoma today where they are experiencing a, probably a a chillier rain i mean some of these temperature anomalies at peak time could be approaching 20 below average with the combination of all the rain around and then you know just the cooler air and the cloud cover man it is almost going to be you know feeling like almost a fall like day for those areas across the middle part of the country and if you look at the next 24 you know to 36 hours precipitation this is just kind of the what's left over i mean it left all kinds of flooding for the east coast i don't need any more rain and yes finally they're going to be starting to dry out with debbie starting to fizzle out but the middle part of the country that's where the action will be that's where the northwest flow events will be and likely traversing across that boundary the heaviest rain will likely be in oklahoma today so definitely look out to be some stronger wind producers some downburst winds some microburst winds with these types of situations but just some heavier downpours uh, as we go into the afternoon as that disturbance will be tr trending off the rockies there but 
Yes, the ridge will likely slowly start to build back for those areas in the south. It was only a kind of a glancing blow of that cooler shot of air. Now that ridge will be slowly building. And as it does, that heat dome will start to take, a, take effect back over to the desert southwest, back over Texas again, and eventually build for the deep south. And slowly every single day, that ridge will creep a little bit further north, putting the storm track a little bit further north as well. And that's the trend what's likely going to unfold as we get into next week. So take a look at Monday. There's the ridge of high pressure, pretty much locked, going to be locked over a good part of the deep south. And then the troughing, the cooler air, right? We still have that cooler air intrusions coming down from Canada and overriding into that northwest flow. And that will keep us keep you know the up the, the central and northern plains on the cooler side and much of the northeast actually and much of the south on definitely the warmer side as the ridge will be building back and as it does with that ridge slowly retreating that's going to put the storm track further north so by the time we head into your tuesday yeah we've got showers and thunderstorms highlighted over the four corners regions over Colorado and now back into Kansas as well as into Missouri with the ridge building up there into Oklahoma and points further north going into Tuesday. So there's the high temperatures as the hundreds will likely come back for a good part of the south and the high starts to retreat. So now we're approaching almost triple digits back again to Oklahoma and those 90s back into Kansas and the cooler air will be kind of confined for those areas across the Dakotas through Minnesota back into Illinois into Indiana and eventually you're going to be in the bullseye of the targeted you know even almost severe storms by then especially as more instability as the heat will build further south and the ridge rider take effect as we head into especially I think Wednesday into Thursday but by the time we head into Wednesday we'll be getting you know that that system out there into you know at west of the you know east of the windward islands there will be approaching likely near puerto rico and i think that's when it's likely going to be a storm if not even you know sometime before but likely a weak tropical storm near near puerto rico sometime on tuesday or wednesday time frame here's the latest european guidance kind of hinting at about a thousand six millibar low pressure so yes if it continued on that wooden west northwest track but you got to remember the ridge of high pressure is going to be starting to build across a good part of the south and much of the southeast as well and that's eventually going to help steer what would likely be ernesto out to sea and as it does drift further north it's likely going to be intensified so this could be definitely a hurricane if not almost a major hurricane out there in the open waters of the Atlantic by the time we head into next weekend. So we'll be tracking what likely will be Ernesto, but right now it doesn't really seem to be too much to worry about with the latest trends and the guidance. But we have to be concerned across the middle of the middle part of the country as with the ridge building south that will put the ridge rider effect in place. So Wednesday and I think Thursday are going to be likely severe days across the upper Midwest. Likely a convective complex will extend east of the Rockies again, kind of blow up across Minnesota, back into the Dakotas again, and then really get its act together as we swing through Iowa, northern portions of Missouri, and back into Illinois, and eventually head into Indiana for your Wednesday night. So, And I think that continues with another type setup on Thursday. So I think there's two day event across this region with likely severe storms, some heavier wind gusts with these situations, some damaging winds, 65, 70 miles an hour. The Cape values are increasing by then. So we'll have to be on the lookout for these, these traversing off that northern side of that ridge and bringing some heavier rain, some stronger wind gusts within the, this region. And if you break it down and look at the let you know those 48 hours this is wednesday and thursday time frame yeah there's the heavier rains near puerto rico with likely what will be ernesto but mainly across the middle of the country and where we have that weakness in the ridge and that troughing inversion diving further south 
That's where most of the instability will be highlighted across the Dakotas, through Minnesota, much of Nebraska, getting into Kansas, portions of Oklahoma, but especially for those areas into Iowa, Missouri, back into Illinois and Indiana, and likely will start to fade as it drifts further southeast as it heads into Kentucky and Tennessee, likely will start to wind down you know, by then. So if you break it down over the next seven days, this is kind of what it looks like. So you're, I think you're gonna be staying on the cooler side, continuing to be on that northerly flow across the good part of the North and Central Plains and much of the upper Midwest and actually much of the Mid-Atlantic and portions of the Northeast, while much of the deserts and much of the South, you know, Southwest and the Southern regions of New Mexico and Texas and much of the deep South will predominantly be on the warmer side as that ridge will be building back for those regions. So yeah, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video, definitely hit the subscribe button and catch my next update. Wire protect you before and after the storm.